Full stack devs get the short end of the stick when it comes to having tools in the browser to build the project from start to finish without ever having to leave the cloud. You usually have to have some sort of local development environment in order to build your project, whether you're building in Rails, Python, Laravel. JavaScript developers have things like Code Sandbox or Replit or Stack Blitz. Not anymore because Project IDX from Google is something that I think the full stack developer community Regardless if you're building in Laravel, Rails, Python, what have you, this is something that we've been missing out on for a while, and I think it's good. I had tried out Project IDX a while ago, maybe a couple of months ago, and there were things that I just didn't think were quite working the way that I thought they should, in the sense that I wanted to start a new project without having to have a bunch of different plugins or setup and everything like that. And while I don't think everything is perfect by any means just yet, I think this is going to be a new start for brand new developers or for people who just don't want to have a local development environment up and running with a backend framework like Rails or Laravel or Django. Why don't we get started and take a look? So the first thing that you'll see is there are project templates that they give you up and running. For example, there's things like Next.js and Flutter, Astro, Flask, and Node Express. There's also one for Laravel. So taking a look at the details of what a workspace actually is within Project IDX, it's everything that you might need to develop your application. They say right here, contains everything you need to develop your application. Code, a code editor, plugins relevant to your project, tool chains to support app development. And the cool thing is that is contained to a single workspace, a single project. If you're building in Python, your developer tools might be different than if you're building in Rails or your developer tools might be different if you're building a Next.js app. For example, so while Project IDX is in beta, it looks like you can have one project at a time. You also, if you are a developer profile within Google, you can have up to five different projects. So let's create a new one. We'll just call this something like Project IDX Test. There we go. We'll go ahead and create that. Again, the cool thing that I love about this is you automatically give beginners, whether new to Laravel or just new to development and coding in general, one of the things as I'm learning and teaching and trying to get new developers building things and cool things on the web is the very start of web development is incredibly hard. You have to download VS Code. You have to download... Node, you have to download NPM, you have to download what have you for whatever framework or tools that you're building in. Project IDX, I think, tends or is hoping to maybe cut that down. So when you start a new project, you're not automatically grant, uh, greeted with all of these different things that you have to download and install and then figure out how to use and then what's NPM run dev and all of that stuff. Uh, of course, you still have to know some of those commands when you're developing. But the get-go, the actual bootstrapping of creating this project is automatically done for you. So you don't have to worry and you can just start coding. I think the thing that I'm going to use Project IDX for is showing code to new developers who might not have VS Code installed on their system or who might not necessarily know how to install an NPM package, or how do I run Node or run PHP on my server? There's a lot of new tools in the Laravel ecosystem. There's Laravel Herd that makes this a lot easier, but I think Project IDX is going to be a great starting point. Just dive into the code, start building, start typing, and then figure out what you need to learn from there. So a lot of this will feel very familiar. It feels like VS Code, in the browser where you have a terminal if you would like it you have things like the web browser up and running if i wanted to let's say in my terminal so terminal new terminal wanted to run and create a new model php artisan make model to do all of it works. I created it with just that Laravel template and we have PHP running. We have the ability to run terminal commands. So now I can follow a tutorial on Laracast. I can follow a tutorial on Josh's YouTube channel and I can follow along without having to have this whole development environment up and running. 
So I think this is going to be great for quick demos, but it's also going to be great for people just to start building things without having to have that whole setup up and running. One thing that I'm interested in, and I don't know the answer to, maybe we can find it out together. I am interested in knowing, can I like set up a whole system? Maybe I want Livewire installed and maybe like I want like a specific Git repo. Can you open up a Git repo in Project IDX? Let's take a look. Create a new project IDX template. So IDX offers a wide range of built-in templates. If you're building your own framework library or service, you can refer technology stack for your projects. Okay, so it looks like you can create like an open in IDX button in your code base. So working on a team with other contributors, you can customize your environment that way, but you can also have these open in IDX entry points. Ooh, Git repos? Interesting. So if I was to import a specific Git repo, let's go into my GitHub real quick. Maybe I wanted to do send notes. That's the one that I have the full tall stack tutorial on. So if I want to say in here, it looks like, what was that? GitHub, yeah, I just put it before it. So URL equals and then GitHub, let's see. Import git repo, we'll import this. Let's see how it looks. So we have the whole GitHub repo. Let's see if PHP is actually installed. So if I want to, let's say, open up a new terminal, for example. Okay, so it looks like you want to generate a default IDX configuration file. Let's see, let's just say yes, see what happens. Your environment configuration has changed. You may need to rebuild your environment. Let's say, take me there. Rebuild environment extensions. Okay, so it looks like this dev.nix is probably the one that we would want within this, where we can have a specific developer environment set up for, this is really cool. Open a specific Git repo. I like that. Where's the other page? Let's see. Turn any public GitHub repository into a template. And then you have this IDX template.nix. I don't know too much about Nix files, so I might need some help with this one. But I think the gist of it is you can do this. I could set this up where I would say, okay, click this link. And now Laravel's installed, Livewire's installed, PHP's installed, and we can run one command and get going. So you don't have to do all of this setup. Because think about this, whether you're new to Laravel or new to development in general or new to insert your own framework, language, etc. here, there's so much setup that needs to be done. If you want to start from a specific template, a specific endpoint, you have to know Git, where now I'm installing a Git repo and then I'm installing all the packages for it. What if you could just click this button and be up and running? where now you can start writing code and follow along with the tutorial, follow along with the video and not have to worry about, okay, did I <laughs> install this folder properly or I'm on Windows and this person's using Mac OS and now the instructor has to figure out how to all these instructions. It's gonna be simpler for people like me, for content creators, for developers, educators, for people who are wanting to teach people something without having to start from the absolute beginning. Okay, I'm curious if we have PHP installed. Let's see, PHP, PHP 8.3. I'm curious how quick it would be. Again, it's probably best to set this up on a Nix file, but I'm curious how quick I can get this GitHub repo up and running. Ooh, what's this over here? Uh, source changes, so that's nice. You can have the Git repo right here for any kind of source changes. It's weird that it pulled this and I'm curious where this is from. The one thing that I noticed when I was building a, a, another project, looks like I have one already up run, running here. I, I had to run PHP Artisan Serve in order to get hot reload. Actually, sorry, in order to have Livewire set up. So I was able to install Livewire, do all of that stuff and run like custom extensions and have all of the fancy highlighting and PHP IntelliFence even within Project IDX. But in order to get Livewire up and running, if I was using like the built-in browser that it gave, it was having this kind of page expired error show up, but running PHP artisan serve and clicking on this, I was able to get this up and running. So hello there, YouTube. 
So this is live wire behind the scenes. Let's go back to our project. It looks like it's still installing PHP. So I'm wondering in this to-do list project, let me see if I can find a Nix file here, because this is one that I created from scratch. Yeah, dev.nix. Okay, yeah, so we can pull in specific packages. And so this is probably like gonna be the a good way to set this up. I can pull in specific packages, uh, set environment variables in the workspace. That's really cool. So it'd be cool if I could also set up specific extensions. It looks like I might be able to do, yeah, extensions. That would be awesome. To be able to have extensions automatically running where I could say, hey, click this link. You can follow along with a tutorial that we're building on YouTube. And now you have all the extensions and your environment looks exactly how my environment looks like. Very cool. PHP artisan serve. Okay, so it looks like the web command is running PHP artisan serve, but for some reason it wasn't working with Livewire. Might have to dig into that a little bit more. And I'm overlooking something. Let me know in the comments. Maybe let me like refresh this to-do list one. This is the one with Livewire installed and it should open up a new, like a new preview browser. I don't know how to find that preview browser. Let's see, oh, there we go. So this one right here, pull open this. Maybe I can, is there any way to like pop this out? Let's see. Okay, anyways, this is like the preview browser that they give. My screen's condensed for making this video, but if I was to say something like, hi there and click add a new to do, it shows this page expired. But if I was to run PHP Artisan Serve and click on this, then this one does not give, I'll show that this is still working. This is still live wire right here. So add a new to do, update live wire. So it, that works, but for some reason, that was slow 4G too. For some reason that the web browser out of the box, even though it looks like in this IDX, it uses PHP artisan serve. So I might have to like mess around with that. Maybe the web preview isn't linked within, maybe it's the port, like it's not serving as port 8,000. I don't know. You let me know. But the other thing that I wasn't able to get up and running as I smoothly as I thought it would be is hot reloading. So if I was to open up a new terminal command, because I'm running PHP artisan serve in one, if I was to run npm run dev, you would think that this would, because we're running Vite, allow, because that should push to, and maybe like it's the environment variable, local host. Okay, that all looks good. But if I was to open up this, like this doesn't, pull this open here. This, if I was to do the to do and say something like for this button, let's say add a new to do here and I'm saving it. So that's control S over on here. It doesn't update it, a refresh, add a new to do here. So it does then. So it doesn't have like hot reloading like I would think new to do here. Folks, save, doesn't update until I refresh. Not the end of the world. Hot reloading isn't all it's cracked up to be. It's nice, but the those two things are the two things that are a little bit more finicky. And I bet with some some configuring of that Nix file, I might be able to get it working. Overall, I really like what I'm seeing with Project IDX. If you haven't given it a shot, go try it out. Honestly, I think it's going to be something that revolutionizes how we build on the back end. In this case, how do we create demos? How do we show people something neat that we're building? I think this could be one of the answers. I think there's a lot of great options even within the Laravel space. For example, there's Wirebox. If you've never looked at that, this is like a live wire playground that's really similar to Code Sandbox, but specifically for live wire, but it's not everything in one. It's just for showing off a new live wire component, for example, where this would be a entire project that you can build out that you can say, I have these models, I'm uh, working with this. And if you could set that up where you say, here's all of the stuff ready to go, click this button, open in project IDX and just get started. I'm all for that because it cuts out the stuff that makes starting development, building things, creating things tough. And if we can cut that out as much as possible and just start building, just start making things, just start having fun on the web again, it's going to be for the better. So keep creating.